Hello and welcome back to our gradebook series. This is video number two, which will instruct you on how to create your categories within your gradebook. So we're going to be in our gradebook screen or gradebook window, and you set this up before by going to https colon slash slash txweb.brenmisd.net forward slash tx gradebook, and you set up your account and you have now logged in. Um, of course, the very first time you clicked on new user, and this time you just clicked on um, log in, and then you put in your username and your password. So we're in our Gradebook account. We're going to go to Settings, Administer Categories. When this window opens, um, we're go you're going to be in, I'm sorry, I inadvertently clicked too fast there. Um, you're going to be in semester one. I'm actually working in the spring when I recorded this video and so some things may look a little different from your screen. I'm going to do the best I can um, because I'm trying to work in an active grade book. Um, but basically we're going to look on the top. We're going to find semester one and then we're going to have the course sections assigned to us. Um, it, this is where you get to see what's been assigned to you this year and let's hope that it's what you expect to be teaching. Um, you're going to pick your first class and that is going to, um, you're going to have a screen on the bottom that says administer categories and you're going to set up your categories. So you're going to notice on the right hand window that I already have a category called all grades equal. How did this get here? On the left I go to the available categories and you're going to notice that there is quite a long list because we have a lot of different needs in our school district but you really must standardize to your grade level or your subject. So please consult with neighbors that teach something similar to you or if you're a secondary teacher someone within your department and find out what the standard grade structure is. Is it 50-50 um, major grades and daily grades? Um, do you have quizzes in there? But look at your choices because you cannot just randomly choose something. It has to follow the standards of where you teach. So for me, because I taught an elective class, mine was going to be all grades equal. So I went to this category on the right side, I'm sorry, on the left side, and I drug it to the right side. Notice as I'm dragging that the field on the right side kind of gets like a, a green checkered look to it and that tells you that you are located in the right spot and you drop it in. After dropping in all your categories, I only have one, but you may have two or three categories. Your second step is to assign a color to match that category and this color is going to be used in the gradebook to help you to identify the different categories of grades within the gradebook. Um, it'll be sort of like on the tab at the top. So you can click on the artist palette and choose a color that you want. Um, I would recommend choosing something fairly light, um, not too dark. It may make it hard to read if you get too dark. Okay, so we've already picked our color. Now we're going to go across to each cycle. We need to put in the percentage that this category is going to count towards my six weeks average. So since I only have one category, my percentage is 100. If you have multiple categories, you need to add in the percentage of the different categories and double check that they add up to 100. So if you have three categories, if you have something like a 50, 40, 10, um, always double check that they add up to 100. Because you're working at the beginning of the year, you're going to have a double arrow sort of below this box. I don't have it because of the time of year it is for me. And if you click the double arrow, it'll take those percentages and it'll follow through for cycles one, two, and three. That would be like marking period one, marking period two, and marking period three. First six weeks, second six weeks, third six weeks. You get the idea. But make sure all of the columns are down, filled down, and make sure all the columns add up to 100. You're then going to put in your PIN, that was that four digit number that you chose, and you're going to click save. I don't have that option because I'm already past that, but that's where I'm going to save it. Now all I've done is this one course for the fall semester. I need to be able to copy those categories to my other like courses and to the spring semester for this same course. So I'm going to go right below the right hand box where it says copy categories to other course sections and I'm going to click. Now because it's going to be fall when you look at your screen, your screen's going to be a little more full than mine. I only have second period, I mean uh, excuse me, second semester. Um, you're going to have first semester and second semester. You'll have like two different boxes that look very similar to this one. Um, one will say semester one, the other one will sem say semester two. Because I've already done first period in the fall, the box to copy it will be grayed out. I just already figured, I already set that up. But I would put a check mark in all the fall 
classes where I want to copy that grade structure, and then all to all the spring classes where I want to copy that grade structure. So remember, you're only choosing the courses where you want to copy that grade structure. If it's different, then don't copy it to those periods. Okay, so be, be very clear in your mind where you want to have the exact same grade structure. Um, also remember that whatever you have in the fall, you want the exact same grade structure in the spring. So if you check it for the fall, also check it for the spring. Put in your pen one more time and click copy, and then you'll get a large message right up here at the top saying that it copied those grade structures. Now we're going to click back to categories. After you've set that up and copied it, you're going to want to go to each class and check. Did the structure move? Does it have all 100s? Um, is it in the fall and the spring? And the way that you can see that is by clicking where it says semester, excuse me, why you, where it says semester, and then you can go from first semester to second semester, and you can check yourself. So once again, we went to settings, administer categories. It took us to this screen. We chose our course. We drag the available category or maybe multiple categories over to the right under selected categories. We added a color. We added our percentage weights adding up to 100. We hit the double arrow to make it fill across or you can just directly type it in. We saved. Then we copied it to our other fall classes and other spring classes that have the same grading structure. I hope this video helped you in setting up your categories in your gradebook this year. Have a great year.